Hi everyone, Luis Bedoya with Charles Rutenberg Realty here to show you an Airbnb in unincorporated Seminole. I came here to show this property to one of my clients and just realized it's such a beautiful home. I also want to get this on video and share it with you. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below, like and subscribe to my channel. And again, if you're looking to buy uh, or invest in the Vanals County, make sure that we, you reach out to me. Uh, my commission is paid off by the sellers of these homes, so it's totally free for you to communicate with me, get all the information and get connected with a management company, uh, an inspector, a good um, insurance agency, etc. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. And I'm sorry, I don't have my stabilizer, my gimbal today. So it's gonna be a little bit of a shaky video and I will be doing a also some commentary on this home. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. So right now we are in Seminole Unincorporated, right? And it's a beautiful neighborhood. As you notice, there's barely any traffic. And this is a corner lot. We're very, very close to the Walsingham Park entrance, the south entrance of the Walsingham Park, which is an added bonus to this home, as well as close to multi-million dollar homes, five to 10 minutes away from the beach and the water. All right, so that's the seller right there, Julia. That's the name of the agent. Thank you so much, Julia, for allowing us to show your home today. Um, right here, we got a one car garage. We've got a nice exterior that seems to have been recently freshly painted. Again, guys, sorry for the shakiness on this on this recording. I didn't realize I was gonna end up making another video today. But as we walk into the house, we do get immediately confronted with a wall and then the house opens up again. We have some upgraded floors. They're beautiful in my opinion. They look really nice. We've got some nice ceiling fans throughout the entire house. So I'm gonna make sure that you have an eye on that. Okay, let me do pause here. Okay, guys, we changed the recording here. It was looking a little bit weird, but we got really nice ceiling fans. We've got a nice floor here. This house has also nice light fixtures, the kitchen. Take a look at this floor. It feels like the theme of the house is luxury. All right, and we've got the pool out there. Let's take a quick look at the kitchen here. This is a brand new fridge. But you do need to update the uh, stove, the oven. We got a garage back here. Could be turned or updated into something else in the future. Got a decent floor detail as well. But again, it's a one car garage. So that's on the smaller end. Sorry if I was too loud. All right, let's take a quick look here at the quality of the course. Of the, I'm sorry, the countertops, granite. All right, and we have here, we got room number one. Let's do a quick peek here. Two windows, looking at the outdoors and look at this. Look at the beautiful ceiling fan they have here in these rooms. Can I get that turned on? It's really nice. And uh, those fans up there, those are uh, expandable fans. So they contract once you turn them off, they expand when you turn them back on. Look really fancy, look really nice. You got a nice carpet here as well. As you can see, it's getting smaller as it goes. All right. Sorry for the shakiness of this video once again. We got a really nice floor here, very nice details. And the tile that they selected, the colors, the sign on this hub and this uh, top. Got more of that gold going on throughout the entire house. And same here in the sink. As I mentioned, this home really seems to be a luxurious theme all throughout the house. Let's go ahead and continue looking. It's room number two. You got another one of those beautiful fans, double uh, window. The windows have already been adorned with a wooden frame. And these are double pan hurricane rated windows as well. And good closet in there. All right, go back out. Let me just show you quickly here what this main master looks like. We got plenty of space here. We got a different candelier here. Look, it's quite beautiful, to be honest. I love the way that looks. I can't get it to dim. I can't figure out how to dim the light. Oh, there we go. I'm doing it now. Really like those things. Oh, wow. 
You got this here. Fireplace that's been redesigned. It honestly looks beautiful. I really like it, guys. We got bathroom here, master bathroom. Oh, wow. Wow. Really like the style of this home. All right, <laughs> the two candles. I, I absolutely love this little bathroom. Really like the character of this home again. That's why I had to come back and my clients are literally just waiting for me right now. But we had to get this uh, property on video. So you got access from the master out here. Let's just go ahead and open this one back here because I already figured that out. So this is one of my first recommendations. A lot of people don't follow it, my advice on this. I think it's really, really good to just come in and drop some synthetic uh, grass. Just make sure you pick the one that's non-toxic for your pets, but synthetic grass is gonna really upgrade the quality and the view of your house. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the exterior. We took a really nice photo back there on that chair. We got the pool. We got some palm trees back here. And we got a nice uh, tree up there that's already been trimmed uh, down. Probably need to trim this, this down every couple of years. Same as the trees that you have on the left side of the home. You got some more trimming to do over there, but it looks like it's already been done for you. And here's another thing, guys, on these pools, um, cement, real in-ground cement pools. This is absolutely exactly what we're looking for. Nice, spacious, and continuing on that house theme, this is a luxurious tile in the pool. Look at this, golden flakes with glass. I just really like the color of this. Let me see if I can get this on video here for you. All right. I know. Quite a weird view. And again, I apologize. Don't have my gimbal today. So it's a little bit shaky. But Luis Pedroia here. If you have any questions about how this Airbnb business works, how it, you can buy a home in Largo or unincorporated Seminole, five minutes away from the beaches, 10 minutes away from Clearwater Beach, making roughly about $125,000 a year. That's not including any of your expenses, but if you need any of that information, I'll be happy to connect you, give it to you. If you need insurance companies, management companies, I'm also a person to talk to. All right, Luis Vidoya, I hope you reach out, like, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.